shall return. It's over. The city has been saved! You seem confused, Seeker. The champion killed the Arashok in single combat? It just sounds so... romantic. Hmm. If I didn't know better, I'd say you're developing a little crush. Don't be ridiculous. The champion just seems very... heroic in your tale. Mm-hmm. If you're telling the truth. If you are, then... What happened at the gallows may be far different than we assumed. I need to hear it. Let's say I tell you. Then what? Is the Chantry out for revenge? Is that what this is all about? No, it's not that. Then what about me? If what I tell you isn't what you want to hear, will you still let me go? I will let you go. Well, now we're talking. None of this is what I thought it would be. Tell me what really happened. Champion of Kirkwall. That was the reward. <laughs> A fine title. Every noble at the Keep owed the Champion their lives. He wasn't just a hero. He was now the most important person in the city. Except for Knight Commander Meredith, of course. With the Viscount dead, she stepped in to keep order. Things quickly got out of hand. The more she squeezed the mages, the more they resisted. The more they resisted, the tighter she squeezed. After three years of that, it all came crashing down. Fear us. Knight Commander Meredith uses that fear to take control of your city. She opposes every effort to replace Viscount Dumar. And you have seen the chaos of her reign. Will you allow it? Return to your homes. This farce is over. Wait! Perhaps there are some who might disagree with you, Knight Commander. Do not hide behind the Champion. He has no role in this. I don't need anyone speaking for me, Knight Commander. Is that so? I think the Champion's views would be appreciated. Or do you fear what he has to say? I fear nothing. My only interest here is in keeping order and protecting the innocent. Rogue mages are constantly threatening the city. Exactly. Would you have us do nothing in response? I would have you not paint us all with the same brush. Not all mages are waiting for the opportunity to wreak havoc. You know as well as I that temptation preys on every mage, no matter how noble their intentions. You push us into desperate acts and then use that as justification to press even further. The Templars are only making the problem worse. I will not sacrifice the well-being of innocence for the sake of a few mages. I will not. 
What are you trying to do here? Cause a rebellion? The people of this city need to know what is really happening. And then what? They tear down the gallows with pitchforks and torches? That would be better? It cannot be worse. Your refusal to listen to reason leaves me no choice. What I refuse to listen to are excuses. Perhaps you are ill-fit to your position if you cannot understand this. Threatening each other isn't going to help matters. And what should I do instead? Allow this to continue? The first enchanter accused you of trying to take control of the city. The city? I am trying to keep order until there is a ruler capable of succeeding where Duma failed. And if not, will the Templars rule Kirkwall forever? We will not stand idle while the city burns around us. The Templar Order exists to guard the Chantry and Circle. I suggest you let the nobility rule the city. I do not need you or anyone to tell me what my duty is, mage. If Kirkwall wants Meredith to step down, they'll tell her to. Are you mad? They fear her. Everyone fears her. Your measures have become more extreme over the last three years. And you could do better? How well did you guard your own mother? Did she not die at a blood mage's hands? You're right. We are hardly the only ones to bear that grief. Precisely. As long as that's true, Kirkwall needs its Templars more than it needs a new ruler. And when will that end? When will you stop seeing evil in every corner? When it's no longer there. You're both at fault here. I'm not supporting either of you. You are naive, champion. You will find that not everyone bows to your will, Knight Commander. My, my. Such a terrible commotion. This mage incites rebellion, Your Grace. I am dealing with the matter. Ah, Orsino. So frustrated. Do you think this is truly wise? I... No, Your Grace. Of course not. Young men, would you show the first enchanter back to the circle? Gently, if you please. Your grace! He should be clapped in irons! Made an example of! That's enough, Meredith. This demeans us all. Surely you can see that. Go back to the gallows and calm down, like a good girl. You have my thanks for stepping in, champion. If you had not... You're the Grand Cleric. Aren't you in charge of the Templars and Circle? Oh, my. You have quite the estimation of my abilities. Gentle people of Kirkwall, return to your homes, I implore you. This will not be solved today. And now I must attend to the gallows. They will see reason if the Maker wills it. Thank you again, Champion. All quiet around here, Captain. Good. Carry on. <laughs>